Welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today I have a book review for The Hunt by Andrew Fukudu. Fukudu, I believe that's how you say his last name. Now, this isn't a new book. I read it when I was about 16, I believe, and it's been a few years since then. So I just wanted to pick it up again and reread it and do a review on it because I haven't seen a lot of reviews on it. So even though it's not new, I feel like it's still something people should pick up. Um, just because it's so interesting and it's so fun and it's a nice, like, fast-paced read. At least it was for me. And um, I want to start this book by reading the front cover. I mean, the front, like, jacket right here. <laughs> the front flap. Because it just kind of helps me prepare to talk to you. And it also, I think, helps you get a better idea than me just talking about it. Um, what the book's about. So, let me start. Gene is different from everyone else around him. He can't run with lightning speed, sunlight doesn't hurt him, and he doesn't have an unquenchable lust for blood. Gene is a human, and he knows the rules. Keep the truth a secret. It's the only way to stay alive in a world of night, a world where humans are considered a delicacy and hunted for their blood. When he's chosen for a once-in-a-lifetime once opportunity to hunt the last remaining humans, Jean's carefully constructed life begins to crumble around him. He's thrust into the path of a girl who makes him feel things he never thought possible, and into a ruthless pack of hunters whose suspicions about his true nature are growing. Now that Jean has finally found something worth fighting for, his need to survive is stronger than ever. But is it worth the cost of his humanity? So... As you can guess, this is a YA book, and it is about vampires, so if that interests you, keep watching. I would try to make this as spoiler-free as possible. Um, it's hard to do that sometimes because I just want to talk about all of it, um, but I will definitely let you know if I add a spoiler in. So, at the beginning of this book, um, Jean is the main character, and he is a human living in a city full of vampires, and he goes to high school there. And... In order to go to high school, he has to make himself appear and look just like a vampire. Um, he has to smell like a vampire. He has to act like a vampire. And I really actually liked, this is a pro, I really liked the, um, like how it explained everything he had to go through to turn into a vampire, essentially. Um, he has to like shave all the hair on his body except for his head hair. He has to whiten fake things. He has to take a shower. Vampires don't sweat, apparently, in this world. So he just rubs himself down with Germex. And um, it was just so weird to me to see how he lived. Like, that's what he has to go home and do every night and every morning. Just to make sure that morning and night is kind of different. Morning to vampires is um, the nighttime. So he does go to school at night. And another part of that is he can't squint. Because vampires will see through that and know that he's a human because um, vampires don't squint, squint. They don't make facial movements. They actually call it facial tics when they see humans move their face because they don't understand it. So he can't laugh, he can't sneeze, and he cannot sweat at school. So he can't frown or smile, nothing. And so he is literally living an impossible life. Like he is always two seconds away from dying. And that kept me on my seat and I loved that because I just like reading books full of danger um his father in the beginning is or he explains how his father was with him and taught him how to do all this um but his father dies actually he gets bitten and this isn't a spoiler I mean it talks about it like you know that he doesn't have a dad in the beginning of the book um his father is bitten and runs out into the light to kill himself so he doesn't kill his son so his uh, son, Gene, just has to live without him. He has to keep living in this world because there is no way out. If he tried to escape during the daytime, they'd just catch up to him because they are lightning fast. Like it said in on the um, front flap, they run super, super fast. And they are like almost like animals, these vampires. I love them so much. And I'll tell you why. This is another pro. Okay, so they are super, super vicious and savage creatures. They run on four legs when they want to chase a human. They salivate um, just excessively when they see humans, even like through a screen. They're just salivating and um, they just get so in like a frenzy when they see humans or just smell humans. 
and that's a problem from for Gene sometimes because he will start smelling if he gets nervous at school or sweating and um, you know the kids will start sniffing and wondering like what is that <laughs> um, so he has to like maybe excuse himself and wipe himself down or um, or just blow it off and say like I don't smell anything you guys are paranoid you know you're just thinking about humans like stop it so he really he is always close to dying and these vampires also another thing um they they kind of have like weird rituals like mating rituals and uh just lifestyle rituals and it was so interesting to see how he developed these vicious vampires that could also be in a way civilized because they have this really civilized city um they have books and um they have this whole high school set up and it's a whole world full of vampires um living in cities and towns and it's just it was amazing to read all that just to see how andrew just put all this into his book you know um he really made great vampires i believe they're a lot more vicious than say like Twilight vampires which can be vicious and I'm not hating on them because that was my life from like 12 to 15 or 16 um, I love Twilight But uh, these vampires I do like a lot better because they're just so vicious and um, And like I said or like I read Jean um, is picked to enter a competition the ruler of this world he um, he wants people to love him so he says, hey, there's going to be a heifer hunt, and that's what they call humans. So a heifer hunt means that they have some humans, and he didn't know that there was any humans left besides himself. Um, he hadn't heard of any, but apparently at this institute, they are kind of teaching or raising some humans just for this purpose, for there to be a hunt, so that people will like the ruler more, because he's like, look what I'm putting together. It's like a government um, event. And he apparently um, chooses randomly <laughs> some citizens from some cities and towns around him to enter this competition. And Jean is picked, along with another girl in his school. Um, he gave her kind of this designation because vampires don't have names. Um, so he calls her in his head, Ashley June, and he, he's really attracted to her. But since he... Um, he's not like her, he can't get close to her, because if they had any kind of, like, sexual interaction, obviously she'd smell him and kill him, so he definitely doesn't, um, doesn't want to get close to her, but at the same time, he does, he wishes that he could, but he has to remind himself constantly that she's a monster, so they're both chosen and whisked off to this institute where they're keeping the humans, and Gene, it's so weird to see how he, he almost thinks of himself like a vampire, like, he thinks these humans are savage beasts because he sees them, like, moving their face and laughing and singing, and vampires don't do any of these things. So he just, he thinks it's, like, so strange, and he kind of thinks of himself as more superior. And uh, obviously that starts to change as he meets one of the girls because um, he can go out in the daytime, and the humans are, like, in this dome. So the dome comes down in the daytime so the humans can roam around. Um, they always have to come back at night because they couldn't get far enough away during the day for the the vampires not to wake up at night and come find them because they're super fast, like I said. So these, um, the heifers, Gene gets to know them because he has to bathe somehow and he can't um, when he gets to this institute. So he goes um, to meet with these heifers and he meets a girl named Sissy there and she's kind of the leader. And this isn't a spoiler, by the way. I mean, I guess it could be considered that. I hope not, <laughs> but um, I don't believe that you would consider this a spoiler because you know that there is another girl in this book and that he's going to get to know her. You can kind of assume that. Um, so he really um, kind of, I don't want to say is attracted to her, but he finds her fascinating and um, he finds out that she's not a savage. And so just the way this unfolds with him kind of finding Ashley June attractive and wanting to be close to her, but also realizing that there's other humans in this world and that maybe he can do something to help them um, instead of uh, help other vampires hunt them down. So it's just, it's a really interesting book and it's 
it's a great read and if you have any interest in this type of stuff I would definitely recommend picking it up it's such a quick read and it's so fast-paced that you could get done with it in like a day so I definitely um, I read through it super super fast I remember both times when I was at like 16 and now so it was just really great um these vampires are vicious um I don't think I said this but the vampires in this don't just drink blood they um they will like totally eat the flesh of a human so they'll like drink their blood eat their flesh eat their bones just everything gone they're um it's just it's ridiculous they go into like a frenzy and um you see a lot of that in the book but it's not like too too graphic if graphic isn't your thing of course I feel like you probably wouldn't read a vampire book if you couldn't handle that but um it is a YA book so it doesn't like describe it too gruesomely if maybe you're younger or you're not like you haven't read a lot of books like this so I definitely recommend it and um even if you've never read a vampire book just try this out because it's really great um the vampires I feel like are so much more traditional um, in that they are scary, terrifying monsters, um, even though there's a twist on them. So, I can't really think of a lot of con, I mean pros, it's pros. Have I been saying cons this whole time? I've, maybe. Anyways, um, I've been listing a lot of pros, but I can't think of a lot of cons because, um, there wasn't a lot for me. Uh, maybe I wish Jean had like a better personality. I feel like his personality was kind of dimmed um, when we talked about Ashley June, who was very manipulative and had, which you have to be in this world, and who just, um, I don't know, she was such a great liar and trickster, and she was so good at, I don't know, I don't know, just she was very alluring, I think, for the book. Maybe not the first time I read it when I was 16. I think I liked Sissy more because she was a human. And I was like, I want I want Jean and Sissy to be together one day. But um, I really appreciated Ashley June in the second reading. And also, another thing. Um, I think Sissy's personality is very interesting as well she's just so kick-ass and um I just wish that maybe Jean's had had a little more to him you know even though it, he wasn't really flat just maybe like in comparison to the girl sometimes um I wish there was other heppers that I wish we had gotten to know a little bit more in this book but I understand seeing as it's a fast-paced book that you can't really like get to know them intimately um I hope I can't really rem remember if you get to know them a lot better in the next two books because it is a trilogy even though you could just end the book here um it's possible to do that but um it'll probably leave you wanting more so i like i said i recommend it um i hope that the next book is even better i really can't remember um how much i like the next one um i read the whole trilogy but i just i i cannot remember i mostly remember reading this first book so I will definitely keep you updated if you want to know um, what I think of the next two books. I might put them into one video. I'm not really sure yet. Um, I definitely want to review um, soon um, Positive. can't remember his name. It's something Wellington. Um, but right now I'm reading that. And it is also like horror apocalyptic. And um, I'm really... I said that I thought I was getting out of that, but I've been reading a lot of them lately, and I am reading another fantasy one. I cannot remember at the moment what it is called because, well, what's it about? I think it's about the Pied Piper, though. It's kind of like a retelling. So I will hopefully have a fantasy and another apocalyptic book for you soon. Uh, let me know how I did, you know, in this video, because this is like my second review and I know I was kind of all over the place in my first one and I'm probably in this one too but I hope this one had like a little more structure a little more like hey this is a pro this is a con so um I hope you come back and if you have a channel let me know about it because I'd love like love to check it out I'm trying to find other book to like newbies to talk to and I just want to see what they're doing and get inspiration from each other so I just yeah <laughs> I just want to thank you for coming, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.